We'll take it off. So there's the mime we're supposed to kill as part of our contract. Obviously, we can't do that. After last time? No. Let me through your window. Thank you. Did someone... These people are so damn alert. I can't believe that guy almost saw me. All right, so we're going to... Go ahead and snipe some of these guys while they can't see us. Because we're gonna have to creep through here later anyway. Let's see who all these people are. The civilian, civilian, elite guard, guard, guard. Dang, there are so many guards. Maybe we can just throw a grenade down here. Hmm. Let's save it and see what happens if we shoot this guy. Wow, really none of them noticed him. One night at the boss. These guys are so oblivious. No one notices us just knocking people out. <laughs> okay, let's let's stow their bodies up here. Oh, come on, let me do it. There we go. Also loot up here while we get the chance. How high can this lady jump? <laughs> this lady can jump very high. She actually has powers um, that are d uh, taken from the void. And so it actually allows her to switch places with a clone of hers. But she can also jump really high. We actually, we found a rune in the first area that allows us to double jump, essentially. We can jump that high. I think what you're talking about is when we double jumped really high and then dropped down to knock the guy out. Okay. All of them are looted. This will make coming through here later a little bit easier. And this is the house that we're trying to go through. There's two options for doing this. We can either go through this uh, establishment right here, this bar. Which we can do because we're tattooed. We got their mark tattooed on us, so we now look like we are part of their cult, their clan. But we didn't do this way last time, and I kind of want to try it. So we just saved it here. I'm not sure if they'll be able to see us, like, if we're in neutral territory here. So we're going to jump down. But there's no. Ah. No, no, no. So I think that if we stay crouched there when we teleport down there, those guards won't see us, and these civilians don't count as a. Um, as being sighted. Boyle Songbird is sure living up to his reputation as a diva. Let's see how many of these guys are over here. Kind of curious. Guards. I might look one different. There's a dog. Still recognize me from the posters. There's one there as well. Best avoid them if I can. from the Karnaka Gazette. Okay, let's try. I don't know how far we can actually teleport. 
Oops. Don't you read the headlines? We're gonna use some of our actual ammo to kill this dog. And again, they shouldn't have seen us. Yeah, good to go. We're gonna wait for a second until everything dies down, and then jump down there. We can also go back to the black market shop and buy some of our electrical shots when we run out. Because we upgraded to the ability to do that. Are you all right? Must be away inside. No wonder I have trouble So we need to go to Eliana's, uh, Elena's, Elena, Elena Ray's apartment. She has the key to this place. That's what that note just said. And good. And again, we are still good to go. Hey, civilians. Should we take our guests out for mushroom gathering? Oh. What's oh, going on here? here? That scared them. Double check, make sure just scaring them doesn't count as being seen. Doesn't. Okay, cool. And again, taking those guards out down here really helps us because now we can jump over here without being seen. Or without risking being seen. Why the hell is the marker for Eliana Ray's apartment right here? Is it under the ground right there? I told her if you want my advice, just pay the fine and be done with it. That seems strange. No use making trouble. Maybe it's just this apartment right here. I'm going to bring the guard down on you. Consider your. Okay, I just. I kind of wanted to see if. Self warned. It's just been what? Go away. And it seems she's just getting stuck there. Shh. Just relax, lady. Everything's gonna be okay. So she's some sort of designer. Your thingy might be confused. Yeah, I was thinking that as well. That's a fairly common uh, bug, just the marker being misplaced. When we were playing Prey earlier this year, we had a hilarious one where the main objective of the entire game, a little uh, nuclear launch key, actually got switched with a teapot. And so wherever the teapot was in the ship, I don't know if you've seen a playthrough of Prey or, or anything like that, uh, but wherever the... <laughs> Wherever the teapot was of the um, in in the entire ship, the ship in outer space, our objective to get to the finish line pointed to. It was ridiculous, like actually completely ridiculous. All right, what are we doing in here again? Learn the secret knock. Oh shit! Maybe we shouldn't have knocked her out. What the hell is this thing? Is that like a giant rabbit? Ooh. That's <laughs> a really strange looking creature. Oh, our secret knock. My servants tell me that you have come by earlier when I was composing, and they refuse to open the door. Apologies from the depths of my heart. I've given dire threats that I was not to be disturbed for anyone. The admiring throngs who gather outside my home have become burdensome recently, crying for autographs and interviews until I can hardly hear myself think, much less create. 
But of course, I don't want to shut you out of my home with the masses. From now on, when you visit, knock on my door six times with a break on the third knock. My servants will know it's your personal signal, and I will strict instruction to admit you the right way. I hope you will come to see me soon, my love. A secret knock? Really? Whoa, she has some creepy facial tattoos. Whoa. That's really strange. We haven't actually done this quest yet, so I'm not sure if knocking on the doors will get us seen by his servants and kill the run. So just in case it does, we're going to save right before it happens, and we have a backup plan. Oops. We have another way to get into his house besides this way. One day she decided to be a sunflower, and there she went. Yeah, one day <laughs> she was like, <laughs> I'm gonna get the most ridiculous looking tattoo one can possibly get on my face. <sighs> I mean, whatever people like, I guess. Alright, let's do a hard save here. She's an artist. <laughs> right? Yeah. I guess she has this, like, extremely wealthy lover, so she doesn't have to worry about getting a job or anything, but still. Whew. I mean, like, it wasn't even really like a pretty tattoo. It was just kind of creepy. But at the same time, it did kind of look like, at the end of the game, those cultists, they had those weird, like, facial things where they've been interacting with the void and gotten that crap all over their face. Kind of looked like that, so maybe that's what it was for. Maybe it was for the cult they're um, all part of. Use the secret oh, knock. I'm game if you are. Maybe they'll think I'm Eliana Ray. Be on your way now. No way. Damn it. So I think that if we can choke her out before we actually. She should worry about the lover with that tat, but everyone, but everyone their own. Yeah. Like I said, maybe maybe the reason he likes her so much is because of the facial tattoo. Because they're in this cult thing together. So it's possible that's what that's about. But I don't really know. This is where we complete the quest later. I think I'm gonna get that done. I'm gonna have a large spiraling facial tattoo. They're gonna really help the stream out. Make me more endearing to you guys. Yes, do it! Delightful. Wait, what the hell? Oh god, okay. We just totally... Who's running around over there? 
there's the flower shop. Roy's apartment must be above it. It totally jumped us back to before we choked the lady out and got the password. Now we know. All right, Egan, I'm gonna let you design the, the tattoo, okay? Egan is gonna design the tattoo, and Reza, you're gonna tattoo it on my face. It's pretty straightforward. I want it to be something along these lines. I know you're both highly skilled artists, and I have complete faith in you. I love it. Okay, yeah, so this, we, we now have the knock. knock. Really? <laughs> Billy, Lurk's, Billy Lurk is like, these dumbasses. <laughs> Eakin, Eakin's like, hell yeah, I'll design you a tattoo. He starts working on the ugliest possible tattoo he can think of. If you didn't shoot yourself in the knee with that. <laughs> Do you have a lot of experience with giving facial tattoos, Reza? Your nephew, the sanitation committee chair. You that bet. Be just the thing. All right, let's use the secret knock, and then Stop spamming symbols. How many symbols do you did you spam? Do I need to up that as well? Oh, no, but I can draw good amoebas. All right, deal. Get a longer break. Oh, so she, she just leaves it open. On account of my bad oh. feet, I should be able to complain to someone. Oh no! Oh no! We blew her body up! Oh god. I feel so bad. We need to load. <laughs> we just murdered the hell out of that lady. <laughs> god. She wasn't supposed to be standing on top of my teleportation shadow thingamabob. Oh no. <laughs> what are you saying WTF about? How we just blew that lady up? Oh, like a hundred trying to show you the tattoo. Oh, damn, interesting. Yeah, that I guess that would get you timed up timed out. <laughs> you want Yeah, let's go ahead and load back. So what happened there is we put our shadow on the ground. And then the lady walked through the shadow immediately as we traded places with it. And when we traded places with it, we were inside her body, so she just exploded. Which is kind of awful. And if I'm honest, I feel a bit bad about it. <laughs> now it's art, not WTF. I'm thinking we need another. Yeah. You know, Egan, I don't think I've ever heard of anyone trying to draw a tattoo in Twitch chat before. Let's use a secret knock. And hide around the corner. Wait for her to open the door. I'm gonna put it right on where she's currently standing because she's about to turn around. We should rent another boat sometime soon. I'm thinking of having a pick. Of course. 
Splendid idea. Mm. I don't think they saw us when we did that. Let's check. Yeah, nice. All right, cool, cool. We're just gonna leave her here. Then we're gonna go into scouting mode. And look, make sure there's no one directly on the other side of this. Actually, I don't know if we can. Let's, let's look through the... Oh. oh, we can enter the house. Nice. All right, when we get in here real quick, I'm gonna grab some more water. Just ran out, cheers by the way. And yeah, if you're here and you have been enjoying the cast, get up and stretch or do something, get a hot drink. Important to stay healthy. I will see you all in just a second. Damn it, Reza. I saw that comment right before I got up, and I was coming back. I was about to say, I'm sure that they think it's a change in the, in the Matrix, but you beat me to it. <laughs> I think that's probably exactly what they think, given this steampunk, whaling-based culture. I'm sure they have the exact same movie called The Matrix that we have in, in our timeline. Okay, <laughs> let's get back in the game. We just entered this guy's house. We're going to creep all the way up through it, um, knocking everyone out. We're just creeping past people that we can and steal his key to the bank so we can rob him blind. Okay, so we're gonna I think it saved as soon as we came in here, but we're gonna save it anyway. All right, servant, guard, veteran, guard. Guard. Okay, so that should be everyone on this floor. We are going to go around this side. There's a bone drum in here that we actually kind of want, I believe. But we're gonna wait to smash it. Until we knock everyone out. But then if I eat it, no, if he eats it, then what? Oh, oh. Woo! That dude almost saw us. I hate this wool. It is just like mad. Why can't I wear my regular clothes? <gasps> Oh, maybe the wind or something. Why the hell can we not? Who's that? What was that? That was the strangest one thing I've ever seen. It was one night. Now I'm covered in shankers. Whatever. <sighs> okay, we should be able to take this guy out right here. Got him. Freeze time so that she doesn't turn around. Um, that might be a little too close to her, actually. We might blow her up. BRB, all right, Reza. No! I think something moved. So what we did there is she did briefly see us, but we teleported fast enough so that she didn't actually uh, fully gain visibility of us. And as you can see, we're still at complete stealthiness. 